Hey guys, Bub here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a very underrated Linux distribution called Debian OS. My first impressions on an operating system almost always come from the setup screen, and just by looking at it, it's modern, it has transparency, and just looks like my type of operating system. As you just saw, the system detected that it was already in a virtual machine. I'm sure it would run way better if it was on a physical computer. However, the create user account is very appealing to the eye, and with the colors and the transparency, it makes a perfect combination. To select your disk, it's pretty straightforward. This is a very good way for new users trying to get into Linux. This is a straightforward process and there's really no questions about it. Now, with the install completed, let's see what we get. This was my first time ever using the operating system, so I was unsure what to expect. And now we get to pick whether we're running in normal mode or efficient mode. I've decided to try normal, however, we will switch to efficient mode later to get a different UI. This immediately reminds me of Chrome OS. Not sure why, but it just does. It decided to open an introductory video, which didn't really play right. The default web browser is Google Chrome, which, depending on how you look at it, can be good or bad. You can download another web browser from the built-in App Store, which, according to multiple reviews, is better in terms of UI and contents than the Mac OS, Windows, and Ubuntu Software Center. The included Office Suite is a pretty good replica of Microsoft Office, however, it is Chinese-based, which I will talk about later in this video. You can change the UI from looking more like Chrome OS or Mac OS to a more Windows-themed approach by right-clicking on the dock and selecting an option in that menu. If you look up deep in Linux, you'll notice the developer's name. And if you look through the UI, you'll notice some Chinese elements. This is because Debian Linux was originally, and still is, a Chinese-based distribution. Now, if you look at this, it can be either a positive or a negative. A positive aspect to this is that China is currently leading pretty much the entire technology market. A disadvantage is security. Some products come out of China are rigged to steal your data. I'm not sure if Deepin is like this, however, I will have a video in the description and an iCard that I did not make, however it goes over the Deepin Linux UELA, which is the End User License Agreement. You can go ahead and read this and just determine whether you want to use it or not. Anyway guys, that's the end of this video, make sure to like and subscribe, I promise not all videos are boring like this one, and I will see you all in the next one.